been a while since we've seen Kate and talked to her. I hope she's alright. This all right. is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. <laughs> me too. I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. <laughs> I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Nah, I'll forgive you. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> right, let's go in. Come on. Aw, she's happy to see us. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it... A stupid question if I ask how you're doing. Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Mm. Thank you. Kate. No problem. There are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. Aww. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Oh, please. Like that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. <sighs> Daniel, and Mr. Jefferson, even Aww. Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. I don't like her. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. <laughs> I bet she can. Let's have a look around first. Maybe we can see more of her drawings then. Um, no, I don't want to leave the hospital. That would be mean. What is this? Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Dear Kate, I just want to express my... Car outside? Shh. I just, I just want to express my deepest wish for you uh, for a speedy recovery and that Blackwell Academy is united in prayers for your return. The students and faculty have organized a rally in order to, um, in your honor and I've never seen such outpouring of academic and community support for any student in our history. I know my words may mean a little given your circumstances, but it's important you know that we all do care. If you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Sincerely, Bunz Principal Rails. Yeah. Don't trust him. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. We remember this picture. Okay, and what else do we have here? Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. <laughs> Can we look at the illustrations? Oh. <laughs> I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Aww. I miss my banana. What? Bored cat. Mustard! <laughs> On the little doggy up there. Where is she? Walk, walk. Here! Aww. Hmm. 
I don't think get well is quite apropos. Yeah, but I don't think there are any suicidal of balloons. So... Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. 99 love balloons. Oops, I, I didn't want to look at it. Get well is quite apropos. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Well, she can be religious. I have respect for pe people that are religious, even though I am not. Um, let's have a sit. Oh, wait. Do we read this? The postcard? That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Of course not. Aww. In our hearts and thoughts. Okay. Mm, that is not such a nice card. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Kate, I know you hate me and you should, but I only want to see your smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. Right? She tries to be nice at least. Let's sit down and talk to her. Kate, it is so good to hang out or with not you sit down. <laughs> Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. But Victoria first, because we just got that little information here. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a, uh not nice. Yeah. But I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? Uh, both? <laughs> I think we don't want to... I want to be nice. I'm gonna stay nice. So I'm just gonna say she's insecure. Because maybe she is. We don't know. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. Let's talk about yourself first. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Mm, Warren? What do you Why? think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. True. You know he likes you. I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, a, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. <laughs> I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even <laughs> angels need angels, Max. True. Let's talk about Nathan. Yeah. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. Indeed. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? Um, let's talk about the family. I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people. But Max, there's something evil about the Prescott. Oh, tell me about it. They have something to do with death. Yeah. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Mm -hmm. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. She's alright. I hope um, if we didn't feed her or something, I hope she didn't have, wouldn't have died or something, I don't know. But hey, we got Kate on our side now to help us with Nathan. So she has a lot of time now. Let's leave the hospital with Chloe. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. 
I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. Oh Little boy. Kirk is not going to be glad when he sees us. I bet. Ah, Where's a Jefferson and a principal. There is David. I like David. He's nice. Wait, what? No, his name was... Was it David? I completely get confused with the names here. Hey, Max. How you doing? Hey. Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Of course. Oh, no, I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. Yeah. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! <laughs> You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <laughs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. <laughs> I like Mr. Jefferson. And he is kind of hot for Let's a teacher. see if I can find out where Nathan is. But I'm still not sure if I can trust him completely. Before I end this episode, I just quickly want to take my third Polaroid picture here. And there, my neighbor above is making noises with a hammer. That's great. Let's take a photo, because I remember this from the last time I recorded. For posterity. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, no. No! I forgot the second picture. Damn it. It was in the garage and I completely forgot it. I'm smart. Um, anyways, I'm going to end the episode now. I hope you enjoyed. And it seems like everyone is now on campus here. Every one of our friends is, like, walking around here. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the last episode. And I... I'm excited to find out more about Nathan, actually. Because I don't trust him at all. But I want to find out what exactly was his role in all of this. So, see you in the next video of Life is Strange, Episode 4. Bye!